Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use this Allegro current sensor ACS770. They are available in a range of from 50 to 200 ampere. I'm going to test it with 50 ampere. This is a serial monitor and this is my load, electronic load that is taking 50 ampere. 50 ampere, the minimum is 50, which I'm using now. Uh, this beam in bi-directional, which means you can use it for AC or DC, a uh, password modulation signal. These are the current that I've tested. I started, so when you look at it from the top like this, this, and now let me just show you the wiring. I provide you the link for the library. Download it as a zip file. Now I set it to 30. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Allegro has introduced a lot of Hall effect current sensors. This is one of the famous one that is currently on production, ACS770. This is offered in 50 ampere, the minimum is 50, which I'm using now, 50, 100 ampere, 150, and 200 ampere. This is offered like this, very simple. We have three pins and these two big terminals for connection to the load in series, which I'm going to show you. In order to make the code very clean, I've written library for all Allegro uh, current sensors. Once you download this library, it will work for almost uh, every other HAL effect sensor of Allegro, which are analog. So this is analog. Allegro ACS770 AC-DC current sensor. Many people later on will post comment, can this work with AC, can this work with DC? Yes, it will work for AC if you get the B version that it has B bi-directional. If you get U unidirectional, it will work only with uh, DC. This module needs power, five volts and ground, and inter internal circuitry will have a Hall effect sensor which will measure the current and Drive this up with five volts and the current passes through this it outputs a voltage proportional to the current so you will do the calculation from the voltage so this voltage will represent amount of current that passes and you will use it either displayed on a screen or take action based on the current that you read on the serial monitor or in your program so the, it, this is a 50 ampere version uh, this beam in bi-directional which means you can use it for AC or DC. If you see U, then it will be unidirectional. But, and this is 100 ampere bidirectional and so forth from data sheet, which I'm going to review next. I'm using now unidirectional, which is measuring only DC. PCB that I've used here um, is not necessary. You can connect it directly to measure the current. When you're measuring a DC current, for, for example, for a uh, password modulation signal, those say that turn on and off the frequency of pulses modulation would might affect the results. For that reason, you need to create a low pass filter with a resistor and capacitor in order to get better result, which I'm going to show you. But if you just measure simple DC current, then this is the best option, just connect it directly and it just needs a simple capacitor between ground and uh, positive because this line is long and it might introduce some noise for the system. Other than that, it will just work fine if the wire is very short or if it is closer. On AliExpress, if you search ACS770, you will find a lot of options here, $2.53 .2 Canadian with some shipping, which you receive it in 60 days. And also some sellers are selling it in PCB version. This is absolute disaster. Like for 50 ampere, for 50 ampere, this is not acceptable on the PCB. This will not work. Do not waste your money on this. Or this one. You see they are selling the 50 ampere version and this connector cannot handle 50 ampere. Purpose for that reason, get this one and use your own. 
They've also used here, if you see, there is a uh, R pump here. They put an R pump which amplifies it and gives you the unity gain without changing the input and output. But for Arduino purpose, you don't need it because Arduino can uh, has very high impedance and it doesn't need to be amplified. Current amplification. And here, this is the unity gain op amp that they use here. And here they use 130 ohm and 220 picofarad, which is not critical. And here on eBay, here they're selling it like that. This could be better because they have enough space here and you can connect your uh, big cable, but that cable can break this PCB. Uh, so it's up to you. But this is another option that you can get. This sold for $17.62 US. This is the official development board. If you buy it from DigiKey, uh, this is sold for $47.65 Canadian, but it is properly prepared and there are data sheet. I will provide you the link for this as well. This is a data sheet for Allegro ACS770 with the CB. When the current passes through the device, there is a 100 micro ohm resistance in between effect to measure, but still there is a resistance through the path. The operating voltage can be between 4.5 to 5 volts. This is available in a PFF package, PSF package or PSS package like this. Currently I have this one in my hand. And here we have these three pins and then the current enters, it can be analog, uh, AC or DC. The, the one that I'm testing is the unidirectional, which means DC, so it will measure only one way. And here is the suggested schematic. VCC will be connected to 5 volts, ground is ground. Between VCC and ground, put 0.1 microfarad capacitor to eliminate noise. I'm going to test it and show you that it will work without it. But for reliability purpose, add that capacitor. And here the V out is the output that I'm measuring uh, the current using Arduino. This voltage is uh, proportional to the current. So I will be connecting this pin to analog zero. But for filtering purpose, you see RF, resistive, the filter resistor and the filter capacitor will need it here. You will use a 4.7 oh, kilo ohm resistor. This is 5 kilo ohm. This is calculated value, so you will get 4.7 kilo ohm. And here, this capacitor will be uh, 4.7 nano. So the output comes through the resistor with a capacitor to the ground. And from this point, this is the output where you connect it to analog zero to read it. In case if you want to implement this one application, it will work, but you have to change it if you are measuring higher frequency current models that are available. And uh, all of these, up to this point, all of them are the same. But here, 50B, that's bidirectional. 50U is the unidirectional, which has been mentioned here. Uh, when, it's, when it says bidirectional, these are for AC as well and DC. But unidirectional is just for DC. As you can see, for bidirectional, they put plus and minus. But for unidirectional, it's just 50. And this is the sensitivity for every ampere it generates or outputs 40 millivolts so 40 millivolts per ampere so these are volts per milliampere and they have 100 150 and then 200 uh, ampere versions the ma'am i will provide you this data sheet but so when you look at it from the top like this this is the v out this pen and then this is the ground and this is the vcc these two are positive and negative that you will connect in terms of DC, you will connect your pens here. It needs 10 milliampere to operate the current supply. So this is for 50B version, this chart, and here is the uh, 40 millivolts, millivolts per ampere. The minimum is 39.04, the maximum is 40.96, but the typical is this one. 
electrical, electrical offset voltage at 25 degrees plus minus 4 millivolts. So keep that in mind. This is at room temperature. As soon as it heats up, it will go 6. And the electrical offset voltage drift over time. This is the magnetic offset error. I've considered this in the library, which means we have to subtract 120 milliampere from the calculation. And the total error plus minus 0 0.5. So half a percent at 25 degrees and 1.5 percent at between 25 250. So this is the module that I'm using now. It is 80 millivolts per ampere, the U version. And the same way we have chart for 100B and then 100U. As you can see, the sensitivity decreases as the current increases. Let's look here, 150, it becomes even 13.33. And if you look at it at 200, it becomes 10. So meaning the lower currents uh, will be ignored, maybe one, uh, one ampere even. You will not be able to measure it properly. You see 250 milliampere offset, magnetic offset error. 1.5 percent, 200 ampere is like This is the electronic load DL3031 and these are the two terminals that from the circuit will be connected in here and we will see the voltage here and the current. To measure the current between the load and your power source either battery or AC depending on the type of the sensor you will connect it in series with the load. For example, in here, the positive goes to the positive terminal or the, this terminal of this AC is 770 and the other from the negative it exits and goes to positive and from negative it goes to the battery and the circuit is completed. When the current passes through this, the Hall effect will be the amount of current and we will measure it via these pins. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. This pen from this side is the output. It goes to analog zero. The middle pen is ground. This middle pen is uh, ground. Ground is connected using this purple wire to ground. And the last pin on this side is connected using gray wire to 5 volts. This needs to be attached to thick wires, something like that. For 50 ampere, this is uh, 12 AWG wire. So I put two of them, even though one can handle 60 ampere, I put two. So 50 ampere goes and comes back. And I tried to, because my cable was a little long, about one and a half foot, this one. Uh, or 60 centimeter and this is also short but actually I'm using this is AWG 8 wire very thick but and also to show you and this is the cable that I'm using from my main power supply that supplies 60 ampere so you have to have nuts and bolts to hold it so 50 ampere or 100, 200, it, it should become much, much thicker. So you have to look at the proper wiring for that. It was very hard for me to solder it. And then finally, when I was able to solder it, I was worried that if I apply a lot of heat, uh, this module might burn because it was, the temperature was increasing. But uh, after soldering it, I tested it. And fortunately, it was good. It did not die, but I had a bunch of it in a bag so I was ready in case of something burns so I will have a lot of these. Uh, now let me explain the code. If you need full explanation of this code, it is available as part of my Arduino course at Udemy where you can learn Arduino and get all the code, detailed explanation, library, a wiring diagram and everything in one place in a structured course. The link for my course is below this video in the description. I provide you the link for the library, 
download it as a zip file, save it in your computer. After that, click on sketch, include library, and then add .zip library, and then point it to where you have saved it. For example, if it was here, just go and select it and click open. It will be installed. After that, you can go to file, examples, and scroll down until you see Robojax Allegro ACS current sensors and then open this example. Once you open it, this will be the example. I've provided you all these models. It will work for, for all HAL effect sensors from Allegro. You just need to know your model. For example, ACS 712, they have these versions and then we have F 758 and then 770. So select the version that we have. We are using this model and our model number is 12. So keep that in mind. Here I'm defining analog zero as VN pen. And then I've measured my VCC. It was 5.04. To get precise value, make sure to measure your Arduino's five volt and enter it here. If you don't know it, just put five because by default it is five. And then the model that we select from your model, you will select this one, 12. So if your voltage is different, a little up and down, you can put here comma and then put this VCC. You can put a comma and put the VCC here. But if your voltage is 5 volts, you don't need to put it. You can remove it. It will work fine. This is where you will get the current. .get current average and then 300 so this gets the average of 300 iteration with three decimal points so this is a value you can use it for something or take action or if you just want to print it print let me now demonstrate it currently the current is zero and you can see on the serial monitor it is showing 0 0.74 this device has And here, as you can see, it has magnetic magnetic offset of 120 milliampere, or output error of 0.5 percent. So keep that in mind. And here, now let me go one ampere. Now it is set at one ampere. Let me turn it on. As you can see, this is the actual current that my electronic load is uh, requesting. And this is the measurement that we are reading on the serial monitor. It's just updating every 500 milliseconds. So we are reading 920 uh, milliampere. This is 1000 milliampere. Let me go with uh, now 5 ampere. Now this is 5 ampere. And here we are reading this value. And remember, this is a 50 ampere current sensor. Uh, so um, those lower values are uh, very minimal because we are looking at 50 ampere max. So let's go with 10 ampere. And here at 10 ampere, this is the actual and this is the serial monitor of Arduino, 120 milliampere uh, deviation. Now let's go for 20. It is now set to 20. This is 20,000 milliampere and we are reading 19,934. So let's go with 30 ampere. Now I set it to 30. And let me set it to 40. Now it is 40 ampere. As you can see, it's getting very precise at higher current because this is made for higher currents. Because the other version of this goes up to 200 ampere. So same family of uh, 770. Now let's go to 50 ampere, the maximum that this one can measure. And as you can see, this is 83 milliampere deviation. And that also could be due to the current sensing. 
and here now I'm demonstrating it directly with a module without those capacitors on any any uh, extra components. I've just connected it. Maybe it will introduce a little noise, but uh, let's just try it with 10 ampere. And here we are reading 9,829, so 170 mA deviation. Because I cannot go further, these wires are very thin for this purpose, but uh, to show you that this will work, so do not worry, you can just go directly connect it like this. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this Allegro ACS770 HAL effect 50 to 200 ampere AC and DC current sensor. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description.